The loading time is very important. Some players use this time to drink coffee and eat. But if you have not reached Mythic yet, you should use this time to analyze and anticipate the enemy gameplay and combo, like Johnson and Odette or Badang. Eye on the map always to avoid a car accident. Watch out for a split pusher masha. Don't ignore badges and treat that as a warning who is a good player and how to counter them. For example, if Hayabusa shows a top budge and you're a squishy offline hero, prepare for his ultimate when you are alone. Build a defense boots to survive his combo. If there's Hanzo, make boots your priority to run away from his ultimate. If there's a top Aldus, you may want to build Wind Talker. You may want to build Wind of Nature as your second item or third if you're playing Marksman. Remember, you're a solo player. You need to make this adjustment to carry your team. Hey guys, welcome to my channel made for ML solo players. If you are a solo player like me, I know your frustrations. AFK, feeding, and less experienced teammates. They have no strategies and they play like AIs. So you are stuck in Grandmaster, Epic, or Legend and you cannot reach the Mythic rank. I already break this curse. I'm a solo player but Mythic rank higher. In my videos, I will teach you advanced strategies for solo players to increase your chances of winning rankings. Playing Mobile Legends is easy. It's a repetitive game. You just memorize the strategies and see yourself rank up to Mythic. So subscribe now and don't forget to like the video later. Pro players doesn't tell you this, so listen carefully. Go to control settings every start of the game and set the correct control settings for your game style and type of hero. Do you notice that some players hero are confused with what to do? They want to pursue the running enemy with low HP but their hero is attacking the tank. The key to this is set the correct control setting for your game style. Let me explain what you just need. Choose the lowest HP if you are playing marksman role. Always, your hero will attack the enemy with the lowest number of HP. And when playing fighters or assassins, use the closest target because you're a melee attacker and your priority should be killing the squishy hero first like mage, marksman or the most strategic hero to kill first. This option will attack the hero closest to you no matter what their HP bar. If you're playing tank, support or mage role, you can choose either lowest HP or closest target depends on your type of skill and your priority strategy to kill the enemy. Practice using the advanced aim mode. Most players use this. Small buttons for attacking minion and tower and the big ones for heroes. This information is important for many heroes in game style and the other options are seldom used for a few specific heroes. Killing the Lord is the ultimate strategy to win this game. From 7 to 9 minutes, you should prepare to kill the Lord. Look at your teammates' composition and items if you're capable of killing the Lord because many times, even wiping out the enemy with a marksman left on your team, the marksman cannot kill the Lord because he has endless battle only. This is a waste of a big chance to win the game. If you see that no one in your team is capable of killing the Lord, you should buy Husklaw if you are physical damage hero instead of endless battle. Any physical damage hero can solo the Lord using Husklaw. I know pro players use endless battles oftentimes, but they are playing with a team and you are so low. So prepare for these adjustments. But sometimes killing the Lord when the enemies wipe out is not always the right choice because all it takes is just 15 seconds to finish off the enemy's base. Pushing. After getting kills, after killing the enemy, the next move must be pushing and destroying turrets. I've seen many players after getting kills, triple kill, mania, then they rush to get the buff or go to jungles and so we have game results of losing team despite having high kills. The right decision after getting kills is to push the turrets and after the enemy respawn, 
they have to defend their turrets and that is your time to retreat and take your jungle bops and wait and ambush and gang again. This is your super tips for solo players. Mountain matchmaking is a little bit better now than before, but it still sucks sometimes. This is what you should do. Notice and weigh in the matchmaking of Monton in your first two rank games. And if you have feeding, AFK, idle, low skill players, no map awareness teammates as if they are like AIs. And even if you try to do all the strategies that you know, there is just no way to win because your four teammates are extremely dumb. Then just stop playing rank games on that day or else you will have a loose trick. I think it's either the players available on that day are newbie, kids, or it's just Montana scheduled you to give you weak teammates for a sure loose trick that day. I'm speaking based on my experience. Even pro players cannot carry a game with 4 dumb players versus 5 average players. So just don't play ranked games on that day and practice heroes on classic. But if in your first two games you notice that the skills of your teammates are not so bad, you just lose because of some bad decisions, late reactions, poor rotations, then you can continue to play on that day for there's a good matchmaking and you can earn your rank ups if you play well. Tips that are common sense but many players are not taking seriously. Make sure your phone have enough battery before you start each game. And don't do ranked games if you have a bad connection. There's no way you can win. And remember to take it easy and just enjoy the game. Don't insult others and just have fun playing. Thank you for watching guys. Please support my channel by subscribing and liking this video. See you in my next tutorial. I'm selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive even though. Joe, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough. Try to get by, life's rough. Try to do it right, it's not enough. Even though you try, you still mess up. But I'm still gonna fight for what I love. Still gonna die for what I love. Still gonna try, I won't give up. Still gonna fight until I've won. They say I'm way too obsessed and I've got nothing left. And I'm not quite there yet. But those words they'll regret. Cause I've got something left. And I'm not giving in. I will not let them win. I won't stop till the end. No.